easy to combo off of. They take a bit, but they're not as like high priority and as disjointed and has like you know like Palu's style nares. But it is a really good combo. So if they find their like openings in these sandwich situations, they might get a lot going right now. Both teams looking relatively even. We're just in the scramble situation. No one's yeah. getting sent really far. And now this corner's doing a lot of work. Yeah, it looks like both Bo teams not really too concerned here, you know, just taking on the 1v1s. When things look a little bit more grim, we might see a little bit more of, uh, you know, a scramble. Uh, oh, okay. nice. That back air into that fair, into another back air. Ned and Dark Wizzy have that awareness to kind of combo off of each other and just, I mean, get, get that huge damage, but that scramble situation, Dark Wizzy not going to come out on top, but he does get the oh. location from the center stage. And it looks like blue team taking that first stock. Oh my goodness, did he just spike his teammate in it to the blast zone? Yes, he did, and ended up losing the stock as well. Now, you know, Ned having that stock lead. And I don't think that stock's gonna go anywhere soon with how this has been going. I feel like Ned's doing a good job putting himself in a position where he's not necessarily gonna be losing that stock very soon. Yeah, uh, right now Ned is just kind of staying outside of the range of both characters. I mean, Korn, although they're a sword character, I think uh, I'll wager that Sephiroth has a bigger sword and that Nair into that sweet spot back there going to take Korin to their last stock and that's that up it's hard to it's hard to punish so like you said I don't think Ned is necessarily going to die anytime soon although really likes yeah he's a uh, position rise Ned has been doing a phenomenal job of just holding the stock and good patience there able to hit with an air having that stick control you know kind of backing up trying to bait out some sort of option now they're on the left side of the stage it looks like cinnamon was trying to punish there and unfortunately ended up losing the stock now giving red team three stock lead no longer now two stock lead yeah i mean it's been a cascading effects right like ned and the early game wasn't too too bad but as as like Dark Wizzy and Ned have been winning more and more interactions. It's been harder and harder to help each other. Like I said, it's a bad sign when both of your teammates or when both of you guys are at ledge and getting yeah. ledge jumped, right? And that's just a testament to how difficult it is to try to find your openings against this kind of team, right? You're against the corner. The Sephiroth is just swinging their sword at you. Yeah, that back throw is going to set up for some kind of team combo, but not going to connect. This is its mark just a little bit. But, uh, Trying to catch there. Oh, able to get the reflect there with the from the side special, and it looks like Cinnamon able to close out that stock, but now in the last stock situation here, uh, and still has to deal with possibly a whole other stock. Right now, they're just looking to possibly just close this out. Maybe they'll get something of a team combo going, but perhaps not. And it's so brutal for Big Bean there, because both characters are completely deadly off stage, right? Yeah. We have the cape from Dark Wizzy. He did a really good job of avoiding getting caped, getting sent to the other side of the, the blast zone instead of towards the stage. But even though he landed on stage, uh, Ned was there to get the coverage. And uh, that's kind of it, right? You rinse and repeat until the ledge trap works. You have three stocks. And that's just kind of what getting a lead does, right? They didn't really have to force the issue. They didn't really have to gamble for like risky situations. They just found solid kills, especially the early kills from the Nair into the back end. Now. Yeah, a lot of ex excitement here uh, for uh, singles if you want to tune into that. Uh, it looks like in the last stock situation, that gets pretty pretty brutal. Yeah, right now, if you want to tune, you want to tune into the mainstream, we're streaming at Satellite Smash, or if you want to keep keeping up with this doubles action, stay tuned at BTS Smash. And right now, we're going into game two, and Liam seems to have taken the stock in the single side, but can't focus on that too long. Here we go, game two, starting on Small Battlefield. A little bit more condensed, a little bit more scrambly, I would say, than PS2, especially underneath these platforms. There's not gonna be a lot of spaces to move. So we'll see if the blue team can take advantage of that. All right, getting caught by the fair there, kind of like just backing up. Uh, Cinnamon had that stage control, ended up giving it up there earlier, ended up getting scooped there by the down air. I wouldn't figure it went that way, but Cinnamon with a solid call out, taking that first stock lead. Um, oh, yeah, yeah that, and that. answering right back. Yeah. Usually if you're if you're the underdog, if you're the underseed, especially in doubles, if you get the early stock, that is your moment to like kind of push it and take it far. But that team combo fully charged up match going to take corn stock, and was like 70%. So. That celebration isn't going to last too long. Here we have Korn on that ledge trap trying to find something against Ned. But Ned just worming his way back in, just weaving his thread. And there's Wizzy covering Ned, finding that space for him. Uh, 
Yeah, right now, you know, Ned taking advantage of having that bigger sword, not getting in that sort of zone that Corrin wants you to be. Definitely would have an easier time, you know, playing here against Wizzy. And I think that's kind of what uh, Big Bean's opting for. Cinnamon trying to get the edge guard there with the down smash. Uh, Hell on Shield was able to get a little bit of the trade here. Has to be careful on how you recover here. Oh, and it looks like, you know, Wizzy was just trying to close it out and able to get it with that up smash, uh, giving Red Team the stock lead once again. It's so scary for Cinnamon, basically. He has to be super careful about recovering. It seems like Wizzy, both Wizzy and Ned are keyed in on the fact that unfortunate jump getting caught by neutral side B, but that down smash going to find that two frame. And right now you're looking pretty even, so it's not too, too bad. Yeah, Ned there at 90%, but we've seen Ned kind of tank stocks for a while here. It looks like Big Bean really scared there and unfortunately losing the stock. Like, was scared for a reason, and like that, that yeah. is lethal. I feel like I've seen a lot of, not necessarily panic, but just like uncomfortableness from the blue side. Yeah. They've been in situations where they immediately get hit, and I hate using the phrase American air dodge, but they do opt for that instant air dodge, and both Ned and Wiz oh. have been wary that Fair going to send Big Bean off stage. I mean, it just kills that 50 so, so strong. Yeah. Could definitely take a stock off of Ned here at 143. Dark Wizzy is going to be a little bit harder here, but you need to hold on to the stock first off. Holding off to the stock is pretty hard, right? I mean, Ned is just showing off how he can do that in spades. 147% using that up tilt to cover. Dark Wizzy trying to send Cinnamon into the air, and that up tilt okay. finally going to take it. I mean, if you can get some kind of combo started or a ledge trap two frame on this Mario right now, Cinnamon is being pretty aware, okay. using that PK Thunder, but oh. the cape so that yeah. he doesn't he avoid the PK Rocket. That was interesting. Like, like I, I was scared for a moment for Cinnamon because if that would have connected, I feel like the cape would have flipped it going the wrong direction, going straight off stage and just stuck in free fall. Yeah, that was this definitely disastrous situations, but there's that team combo from Dark Wizzy and Ned. And here they have free reign as there's either players just probably looking for a grab that side be going to be reactable and punishable here's your lunch trap using that down from from sephiroth but uh here they are swapping positions if you can't do it i will and that up smash big noggin going to take it 2-0 for dark wizzy and ned